So guys, if you're like me um, and you bought a Rogue Glide or Street Glide or the special models in those, or maybe an Electro Glide Standard or a Rogue King or a Rogue King Special, any of those touring bikes that are not full dressers, so anything other than your Ultra Limited or your Road Glide Limited. And the one reason I bought these bikes because they didn't have the permanently mounted tour pack. They didn't have the lowers on them. Uh, but as we quickly find, we go on road trips, we're looking for a tour pack option. Guys, my name is Rick and this is the HD Vibe channel. And in today's video, what I'm gonna do today is one, show you how you can put a detachable tour pack on a road glider, your street glide, or your electric glider, your road king, so that that can actually be easily taken off and only utilized when you wanna use it. Secondly, I'm gonna compare three different tour packs in terms of cost and what you get for that cost. Lastly, one of the things people have a challenge with when they go to aftermarket tour packs is you have another key that locks that tour pack that doesn't match your saddlebags or your ignition. Well, I'm gonna show you a solution to get the same keying on that tour pack as everything else on your bike. And we'll get into all that right after this. So that's right guys, three parts of this video today. So first I'm gonna show you how to install a detachable tour pack onto my Road Glide Special. Um, this is gonna be the same for your Street Glides, your Electro Glide Standards, your Road Kings, etc. cetera. Um, so we're gonna do that. And then I'm gonna compare some costs um, and give you a breakdown of that. And then lastly, I'm gonna show you how to get that thing keyed so you don't have to carry an extra set of keys uh, when you are using your detachable tour pack. So the first thing you're gonna need is make sure you have this four point docking hardware. Um, I'm not gonna show you how to install it. This actually came uh, with my bike when I got it. I believe this is a Harley Davidson version. Um, and basically there's just two screws that kind of go in here. There's a little rubber um, protection that goes in there. You pull that out and then slide these in and get that in there. So pretty straightforward. Two bolts here, two bolts here. Use some Loctite. Um, so I'm not gonna bore you with that. That's already in there. So now we'll move on to the next step. So for the next step, you're actually gonna need the mounting bracket uh, for the tour pack. As you can see, it has four openings here where the bolts will go in to bolt the tour pack onto this. And then you have these connecting points that'll go onto the four point docking. So in this case, you wanna look for these that have the rubber connection will actually go on to the docking part where there's no rubber connection. And then this portion will actually connect in to this portion right back here. So pretty simple, just line this up and then get these pushed all the way in and then lock these in. So, so I've got this portion slid up in there tightly and I've got these uh, lined up and then you just push down and rotate these forward until they lock in. And then when they lock in, you'll hear it click and there you go. So now it's locked, as you can see, very secure. That's not going anywhere. Okay, so I've got the mounting bracket on the four point docking hardware locked in. So now it's time to actually put the tour pack on. Okay, so here's the tour pack, a uh, big red color match. So again, you've got the four holes on the bracket, um, which gives you a little bit of space. So you kind of get it lined up. There's a little slot on the bottom of the tour pack. I've actually got a mounting plate that's gonna go inside this tour pack. So at this point, it might be helpful if you have another set of hands um, to help hold this because you're gonna need to open up the lid, put this in there, and then begin to put the supplied hardware um, through here, um, through the bottom of the, the bracket so that you can secure it to the bike. So I got a little bit of off-camera help. Um, I got these two started here in the back so that it is somewhat secure on the bike. So to finish this up, basically what I'm doing here is these are um, Allen bolts They'll just go through these last holes here, get that lined up. You've got a washer and you've got a nut that goes on the bottom. What you do to tighten these up, um, you use your Allen, which is 5.30 seconds uh, bit on the top of that. So then these nuts with the supplied washer go on the bottom. These nuts are a 7 sixteenths. Um, so I'll go ahead and get these tightened up and get this all aligned. You just wanna make sure you're square on the bike, which once you get a couple of them started, it's not too difficult to do that. Um, but just get it squared up and then tighten everything down and uh, that will complete this portion. 
So then the last thing we need to do is actually install this back uh, pad rest here. It basically has three connecting points um, on here and the holes are already drilled in a tour pack. So you just push those through um, and then put these supplied nuts on there to tighten it down. Okay, so I've gotten all three of the bolts pushed through uh, the pre-drilled holes and now I just need to tighten these up. Um, these are actually 10 millimeters, so I'll just quickly use my socket here get this tightened up and don't over tighten these um, it's not going to go anywhere just get it to the point where they're snug and that should do the trick okay so that's the back uh, rest uh, if you have a passenger nicely padded um, this is nice and cushiony so that you don't get any scratches on the tour pack um, I probably won't be using this with a passenger very often, um, but you open that up, you got a nice amount of storage here. You could put a half helmet in here for sure, not a full, and you got a nice tether here to hold this so this doesn't spring on you. Nice uh, weatherproof gasketing around here so you don't get water in here, keeps your stuff safe. Um, and then just lock it back down. You're set for extra storage. So as you guys saw, pretty easy to install a quick detach tour pack. Um, I, as you can see, obviously this is a color match. This is billiard red. Um, I'll have a few more shots of this, but it, I mean, the color is, is, is right on. And if you haven't um, figured it out yet, maybe you saw it on the plate, but this is the Hogwarts version color match. So as I said at the onset, I want to talk about um, really three different sort of price points uh, for these tour packs. So I'm gonna be comparing an Amazon tour pack, the Hogwarts tour pack, and the Harley Davidson tour pack. So from Amazon, what I found is you can get a CHOP tour pack uh, in vivid black for $329.99. Now included in that is the backrest like we put on here, a liner, which I haven't showed you that, um, but it's sort of a, a felt, kind of hard felt liner that they come with. Quick detach bracket also is included in that $329.99. Four point docking hardware, like we started with, that is, I found it uh, on Amazon for $49.99. Um, again, not a brand name, um, just sort of a generic. Um, the lock obviously included, a mounting plate was included in that $329. The one I found, but then the color match. Obviously, if you have vivid black, um, it's fine. But if you have billiard red and you want to stick with color match, um, I'm guessing to get color match paint on that Amazon version, probably going to cost you between four hundred and maybe five hundred dollars. By the time you get the prep, you get it all taken apart, they sand it down, they color match it, and then you're sort of at the whim of how good is your painter. Um, is he going to get an exact color match? Um, typically the Harley Davidson paint is a PPG paint. Um, so they can color match if they have the right equipment, but it, it could be a challenge. So grand total that comes to about $830. So now let's talk about the Harley Davidson version. So I looked these all up. These are all current prices as of when this video is released. So the CHOP Tour Pack itself is $1,009.95, so called $1,010. You have to buy the backrest separately, and that's another $185, $186. Um, your liner, to get that felt liner like the Amazon version have, Harley's version is $87.95, so 88 bucks. The quick detach bracket um, that this is mounted onto, the Harley version, that's $225. 95 so 226 dollars and the four point docking hardware um, that we started with again 175.95 um, a mounting plate i don't think harley even offers a mounting plate i think their versions if you get um, order them after you purchase your bike i don't think they have a mounting plate i think they have some washers but if you want to put a mounting plate on there the lowest price one i actually saw was on amazon $39.99, 40 bucks. So the grand total of the Harley Davidson Color Match Tour Pack will be $1,726, roughly. So now let's compare that to the Hogwarts. So this Hogwarts Billiard Red is $898.98, so $899. The backrest was, is included in that price. The, there's a liner 
um, but I haven't showed you that. They have a liner that far is far better than the Harley version. It's not a felt. Um, it's sort of a, a leather-like liner that goes on the top and the bottom. I'm going to be putting that on in a future video. That's $149.99. The quick detach uh, bracket that this is mounted onto, the Hogworks version, $159.98. The four-point docking hardware, $149.98. The lock is included. The mounting plate that we have inside here is included. And obviously the color match paint is included. So the grand total on this tour pack as it sits, $1,358.93. So about $1,360 versus Harley, $1,726 versus an Amazon version at $830-ish, and you're still questionable on the paint, you don't have as nice a liner, um, and you're kind of at the whim, you don't have sort of the backing of that. So, obviously, this is the Hogwarts version, sort of kind of lays right in the middle. Um, as you can see, the paint is right on, they color match guarantee, um, so I'm really happy from that standpoint. Everything went together. As you saw, I actually put that on a Harley uh, four-point docking. Um, they are tight. Um, you do have to press and get that um, initially on there, but once they're on there for a while, that will sort of stretch out, but not get loose. And as you can see, this is solid. Um, it's not going anywhere. So as I mentioned earlier, this does come with keys um, to lock this tour pack, but as you can see, obviously it's not gonna match the ignition key um, and the key for the saddlebag. So what would that mean is I have to carry an extra key on my key ring, which I really don't wanna do. There's a solution for that. You can actually order from Harley Davidson, from your dealer, a locking mechanism for any tour pack that matches your key for your saddlebags and your ignition. So the cost of that is about, I think around $60. Um, and what you need to do when you go to your dealership is you tell them, hey, I want a, a tour pack lock. What you need to do is provide them with your VIN. If you have had service there, they can obviously look it up. If not, if it's not a dealership that you normally deal with that you're gonna order from, you take your uh, title in there or registration, something that shows the VIN that you own it. So obviously they're not selling a key to your bike to someone who shouldn't get it. Um, and then you can install it. And what I'm gonna do now is show you how to install the Harley uh, locking mechanism so that I can just use one key for this aftermarket tour pack. So here's what you get. You get the locking mechanism that goes inside of the latch on the tour pack and then you actually get another set of keys. So obviously before you install this new lock, try these keys on your ignition and your saddlebags and make sure that it is keyed right. I've done that. It all works. So now I'm ready to install this which is pretty simple. It's basically just two screws that go through there that are actually in the tour pack latch that I'll take out, remove, and then put these back through here, um, and then we'll be ready to go. So you basically can pop that up, and then there's two openings here where you can actually get to those screws, loosen those up, and then put the Harley version in there, and then you're set to go. Okay, so I'm gonna use my uh, Allen here. This is actually a 764. I mean, again, you just kinda go through these holes Loosen those two screws up carefully um, so you don't drop them. And there you go. So that, uh, that mechanism is out and uh, ready to be replaced with the Harley version. So pretty simple here. I'm just putting the, uh, the screws back into the Harley version, getting it lined up. Again, putting this Allen through the slot getting the screws in there and tightening that up. Now, you do need to make sure that you have that in the unlock position, which is essentially turn the key turn to the, to the left. Okay, so I've got the tour pack latch now. We've got the Harley lock in here using the Harley keys. Sure enough, it's locked and unlocked. So guys, um, as promised, Shows you how to simply install a detachable tour pack on a road glide. It's a, applicable for your street glide, your road kings, um, your electric glide standards. Simple process. You need those. The equipment that I went out, I'll have links down in the description to everything. 
Um, also, we went through and we compared the prices. Obviously, the Harley Davidson is the most expensive, about $400 more than this Hogworks version. But this Hogworks version, I will tell you, probably just as good, if not as good as the Harley Davidson, maybe even better. Color match is perfect. They use PPG paints. Um, they have a variety, hundreds of colors of Harley Davidson um, that you can get painted from Hogworks. So go check out their website. Finally, I showed you how you only have to carry one key, even though you have an aftermarket tour pack, by switching that out to a Harley Davidson keyed tour pack lock. So guys, again, if you like this type of content, please give it a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing to the channel. The channel is getting closer and closer to that 3000 subscriber mark. As of the release of this video, we're probably gonna be close to 2,900 or so. So I'd appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button. A lot of people watch my videos, but don't necessarily subscribe. Um, so I would appreciate it if you do that. Again, share this with your friends. Um, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this Hogworks tour pack, what other tour packs you may have put on your bike um, so that we can share this with uh, others that watch this video. And with that, guys, I want to leave you with this thought. Life is short, get out and ride the bike. Thanks for stopping by and we'll see you on the next one. Bye now.